Hey y'all, Hot Rod Austin here. Got a quick little tip for you. Um, you know, you hear about uh, you can't reuse a crush sleeve on a ring and pinion gear. You know, the crush sleeve that goes between the two bearings on the on the pinion. And you hear that once you get it crushed down, you can't reuse it and you have to buy a new one. Well, I'm here to tell you that's wrong. And let me show you why and how I feel that way. So, here is the pinion gear right here, and the crush sleeve fits on it. There's a bearing that goes on the bottom here, and then there's a bearing on the top, a tapered bearing. And this crush sleeve goes in between, okay, and then it crushes it down, and it takes a pretty significant amount of torque. But here's what I've learned. If you have one that's already crushed down, according to the factory specs, they come new at .500. So, the, so, so they're exactly a half inch of width from the left, to, I mean to the right. So you can measure yours and get an idea of how much you need to bring it back to that. I had one that was already crushed down and what I did was put it in my press here, like in my press, and I got these metal pieces that came I mean, with it. And I found a round drift pin, about a inch and a quarter size, something like that. So I can lay it on here like this and bridging the gap. Of course, I'm just giving you an illustration. I'm not actually got it set up then to do it. But you can put it in there, leave a the space, and then, and of course, I've got to adjust mine up, but bring the press down and let and let this, this push pin right here push down on that and flatten that out just slightly. And if you'll do it there and then turn it and then do it there, I don't know, maybe about ever five, maybe about, I mean, at least four sides. Four equal sides, north, south, east, and west. But if you want to do it like six, then you can. And just push it down and flatten flatten that right there out. As you can see, I've kind of already done right there. And what it'll do is it, when you flatten that out, it will spread it out slightly. Take your, uh, your dial calipers or whatever and measure it. And it, it, like if you get it close to like uh, 0.49, you should be in good shape. Uh, I don't think, you you know, it's up to you. But anyway, you can definitely measure, measure and tell a difference. I did that and spread mine out and reinstalled it in my Ford 9-inch ring and pinion, and it worked good. And I, in fact, it, I could tell when I hit the crush because it got really hard than the Titan, and I put a cheater bar on a half inch, but I was able to get it. And then, uh, and then I crushed it back down then to get the proper preload on my ring and pinion bearing because it's crucial to have the proper preload and it doesn't take very much once it gets down close it doesn't take very much of a turn and it really clamps it on down so the truth of it is you can reuse a crush sleeve if you're in a bind i've done it i know it works and you can save yourself a little bit of bucks and mostly save some time anyway thank y'all for watching click a like if you agree or comment or whatever peace out hot rods woodshed bye-bye